right, as y'all can see here, we just got some new news from the brands of Brunswick. We got three new balls that we're taking a look at here. The first one is the Deviate Troublemaker. Now, first off, love the color scheme. I love the two-tone blue and black type look. It's just, it looks so clean. But let's talk about the actual specs of the ball. The core is the dualistic core with Insider Max continuation as its cover and it's the hybrid version of that formula. Finished at 500, 2000. And let's take a look here at the core numbers. 15 pounds, that's the one that we talked about the most. It's the most common. Has a two point, essentially a 2.5 RG and a 45 differential. So honestly, this, this seems kind of benchmark. And honestly, their placement here kind of says benchmark as well. Just a stronger, symmetric ball. But let's go back and actually close it. So we're just going to EV8 bowling real quick. Actually pull up the page because they talk about something specific with this ball that's kind of interesting and it's the fact that they designed this core specifically for people who don't have a thumb in the ball now uh, I don't know how I feel about that if I'm being like 100% honest with you uh, because you would think they would try to phrase it as this is a symmetric ball that once drilled will have a quote unquote weight hole effect or eh it, but what they actually are saying here is like it says right here is that the way that the mass will be taken out when you drill for a two-handed bowler it's to simulate the mass differential that you're going to get when drilling for a one-handed bowler which is i mean that that honestly does make sense to me but it's just kind of interesting that they decided to do that i honestly would expect that from radical first if i'm being honest but deviate has been the one to well deviate from the rest of everything but I think this one's going to be very interesting uh, I'm not going to try it specifically most likely unless I really just gain a desire to but let's move on to one that I'm honestly thinking about getting even though like I've been throwing a lot of storm stuff lately the tundra fire holy crap this ball looks good and it's just the total of its uh, <laughs> the total of its parts seems like it's going to be a really really good ball. Of course, it has the I believe it's the exact same core as the old Tundra. It's just called the Track Symmetric, and it has the DR5 Pearl with the HK22 base. But that core numbers are a 256 and a 30. And of course, you know, 500, 1,500, and then compound. I think this one's going to be very special. Just because that's a very controllable reaction. Where it's like, it is going to get down there, but it's not going to like jump off the spot. So... I think this one is going to be very, very good, especially like now they're getting HK22 into a lot more bowling balls. HK22 is good. Like that's kind of just, that's just a, yeah, it's an opinion, but like that's just kind of a general fact at this point. This one is going to be very, very good, especially on house shots. But let's move on to Trax's other ball. Some very interesting, the Kinetic Cobalt. They're finally coming out with another kinetic. It's been a minute. Uh, 
but it's got another HK22 ball with, you know, a QR7 hybrid HK22 and an interesting cover prep at 500, 1500, 4000. I guess they're trying to actually make it be a kind of like a, a just a longer ball. Some, definitely something weaker than that troublemaker we were looking at earlier. Or maybe a little bit sharper than it. And of course, you got a 248RG, a 40 differential, and a 006 for the asymmetry on this one. That's just the shuttle core, how it's always been. This one is interesting. I'm not that interested in it for myself. But I feel that if you're like trying to fit that kind of like half step up from like your stronger symmetrics, I just feel like the Troublemaker is just going to be that much stronger. It's good, like Insider and Insider Max, especially, are pretty strong. Uh, but like if you're looking for a step up from say like the old track heat that they had out a little bit ago. I feel this one's kind of going to be your best option. Like it's, or like, I think it may be like a half step up from like a knockout bruiser. I could be wrong about that, but it could be just the color influencing that opinion. But yeah, no, I think this one's going to be pretty interesting, but I think out of all of them, the Tundra Fire is going to be the most like commonly seen. But I think that the one that you're gonna, that's gonna probably leave a longer lasting impression is gonna be this Troublemaker. Because either, if it sells well and it does well, they're gonna keep trying to do cores like this that are like catered to certain designs or, or certain uh, bowling styles. Or, if it doesn't do well, one of two things will happen. Either he'll never touch this concept again, or they'll go back to the drawing board and try to do something a little bit different with it. I, th I just think it's so interesting that they actually decided to make a core that they're saying is designed for people who don't use their thumb. I kind of want to know what's going to happen if someone with their thumb drills it. Yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be interesting. But this has been a scene of Bar Reviews. Oh shoot, I missed again. Hope I don't miss y'all next time. Thanks for watching.